Welcome to Boom Hauer 69's channel, and today Boom Hauer is going to talk about the go kart build idea. This is for the people who um, are new to the channel and don't know about my go kart build. I did a video about sanding this down. That's where I was sanding this down and cleaning off the old paint and rust because this used to be a boat trailer that I'm going to convert into a go kart. And I'm going to try to talk more in depth what my intentions are with this this build and so for those of you who have already seen that that first video thanks for watching that video and for those of you who haven't checked checked out that video check out that video right now now this right here is a is a real old boat trailer that I'm going to turn into a go-kart in the near future sure now I still gotta find a shop that can handle doing the welding stuff like a fabrication shop that would be gladly to do the welding but what my intentions are is with this go-kart is I'm not going to make a off super off-road mud bogger type mudder go-kart nothing like that you know I'm not gonna my intentions is to make something make a go-kart that would be cool and unique Unique something that you could take to like your local car shows or festivals where people show off their 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 stuff and make something that Gonna be like a show piece, you know more like a master show piece somewhere somebody would say wow, that's really cool and unique so that's my intentions and Motor wise like I said before in in the videos. I'm going to be using a vertical shaft motor Instead of a, a horizontal side shaft motor, I'm going to try to do a vertical cool motor where the motor's in the front. And the reason why I want to do that versus side shaft motors is I, I since, because my, my intentions are, is I'm going to be going with um, a standard like riding lawnmower engine is what I'm going to be putting in this thing. And so I want something... I want to design the engine compartment because this is where I'm going to be the front of the go-kart where this triangle is. It's going to be the front of the go-kart and where my hand is. This is where it would be like the engine bay compartment. And I want to do a vertical shaft like standard riding lawnmower engine or push lawnmower style engine where simply we and, and, and design this where simply when the motor blows up you can easily swap out another motor in it and make it easy to swap out motors and and without doing a whole lot of re-modification where basically you would just have to redo the, the the whole mounts and stuff where it would be minimum work and stuff where you could just slap in any size basically design this engine bay compartment where you can slap in any size riding lawnmower engine and be on your merry way you know whether it's uh 20 horsepower riding lawnmower engine to a 8 horsepower motor, you know, so that's my intentions. And then down here, the this part, the lower part, where this flat thing below, that's going to be the basically the seat compartment where the seats are, the steering wheel and stuff. And my intentions is to make this a fully enclosed go-kart where it's almost like a little... A fully enclosed go-kart where it's basically almost like a mini car almost that's what my intentions are with the stream is to make it fully enclosed where you'd have two doors on each side make it where two adults can sit in it comfortably and they can you can turn your kill switch on pull your pull the ripcord and and be on your merry way and tire size my I'm still researching like what types of tires to use and stuff because I simply don't want to use too big of a tire, and I don't want to use too small a tire. I want to try to use some, when it comes to tire size, I want to use a tire that would, would look perfect and good on this tire, where it wouldn't really look out of place and stuff, something that's going to look just right. Because I don't want to use too small of a go-kart tire, cause tire, but I want to use maybe like a, a decent, like I want to use a not too big, not too small, and... And a, a tire size that's going to be pretty standard and universal where if you have a tire malfunction, you can easily go to any like small engine repair shop and say, hey, I need this size of tire and they can easily get it. So that's my intention tire wise is to try to use, try to find just the right size tire that would all around make this project look good. Because my intentions is 
not to really make a fully enclosed go-kart that would be for like off-road, mud bogging type thing. It would be something more of a show piece. Something that you would take and, and like maybe travel, maybe take it and put it in like a parade or have it at like some festival, like art show festival or car show or something where you could just show it off to people and people say, wow, that's really neat that you did that. That's cool and, and stuff, you know. That sort of type of go-kart where it would be more of a show piece where it would run dry, but show piece, you know. I'm not personally too worried about making the fastest ultra-rain type go-kart, you know. But something that's going to be more like a kind of art piece, more or less, like a nice show art piece and stuff. That's my intentions with this go-kart build, build for this project, so... I wanted to make this video for the people who who are new to the channel, who don't know about the go-kart build idea, and also to try to do a little more in-depth of what I'm thinking about doing for this go-kart build. And it's just simply trying to make turn this boat trailer into like an art form type like an art form type go-kart. And so So for those of you who have already seen the first video on this. If you go to a point, I made a playlist called Go-Kart Build. I already did a playlist about sanding this down and doing some sanding work on it. I still got to finish cleaning up the old paint and rust on this because this did sit outside for a while. It's still a, a solid piece of metal. That's why I'm going to use it. But that's my intention is turn this into a fully enclosed go-kart, hopefully. But if I can't make it into a fully enclosed go-kart, at least try to make it a running go-kart, you know. But my intention is to try to make it a fully enclosed go-kart where it's a running go-kart with a body on it. But as of right now, my intention is to try to get this frame right now into a rolling chassis. So I got to find a shop, a fabrication shop in my area that can help me do the welding and all that stuff. And for that, do the welding and, and mount the stuff on here to the axles and stuff to mount tires and so yeah i'm still in the process of trying to do this this is on the back burner back burner but once i find the fabrication shop that can help me on this project i'm gonna and then depending on how much they cost i will probably have them go ahead and do it but yes this is still a project that is going to com be completed and i am going to talk about it from time to time and stuff and even when I'm ready to have it built then I will even do more videos about it but hope this clears up any 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 clears clears up any any I don't know where I'm going clears up anything and hope you hope you hope you people learn something from this and and you understand what I'm trying to do with this um old boat trailer frame as a go-kart wise hope this clears up Clears up anything you're trying to think of, like what is she trying to do and stuff. So therefore, you know, I lost my train of thought. Sorry about that, but so yeah, hit the red subscribe button because I'm definitely gonna do more videos about this go kart build process. So hit the red subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up. You know, comment below your thoughts and everything, and and share this video with everyone you know because you definitely help out Boom House 69 grow this channel. I thank you all for watching my videos, sharing my videos, and and interacting with me. I do love the interactions, whether they're good or bad. I do love love talking and socializing with your people. So thank you for watching this video, and I hope you all have a good day.